So first thing first, man, if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you head over here to Instagram and follow me, man. Top Notch Bully Camp. Our registry been open since May. We got a couple dogs registered with us. Like I told y'all, when we hit 300 uh, paper dogs with the registry, that's when we will host our official first dog show. You feel me? Been open since May. It was designed specifically for the exotic bully breed, but we do still accept all you know, uh, American bullies, hybrids, and fluffies, you feel me? So make sure y'all come follow the registry page. I'm going to leave a link to the uh, registry Instagram, and I'm going to leave a website link. So if you want to register your dog, registration paperwork is done within five business days. So make sure you register your dog, little registration, and dog, and sing. Top notch, making hot scotch, we pop glass in the hood. I be woken up like a What's good, Tom Notch gang? I'm back with another video, man. Like, I told y'all, I'm gonna try to, like, stay consistent with posting on YouTube uh, every day, man. As long as y'all keep coming with questions in the comment section um, to where I can respond to them with a video and answer questions, I'm most definitely gonna stay consistent posting good content on my channel. Not boring content, you feel me? Because... You know, I don't want to just be posting the same thing over and over. So as long as y'all keep asking questions in that, down there in that comment section, I'm going to keep bringing y'all fire content, you feel me? No clickbait titles. No, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm trying to steer away from, like, the clickbait and, and whatnot, you feel me? I want to answer real questions and, you know what I'm saying, really, really try to help people if I can. So that's why I encourage y'all, you know what I'm saying? That go in that comment section and ask me ask me some questions man so I can get this content for y'all man but um so this video today man a lot of people uh hold on I'm gonna tell y'all in a minute alright so y'all know it's early in the morning man getting the bulls fed getting the bulls ate finna go out here clean these shitty ass crates um I'm going to be working on getting them some drop cages, but right now, uh, I'm just, I'm just going to, I'm okay with just leaving them on the pan, man, because I don't want to mess up their feet. I'm too scared to mess up their feet, you feel me? So, I'm just keeping them on a flat surface right now, rather than them being on them hard rails, but soon I will get a, uh, I will get some drop cages, maybe when they turn about... I'd say about six months, cause I don't mind coming out here, you know, spraying down, cleaning these crates every day. You feel me? I just, I don't mind doing it. Like it's, it's, it's something to do. You know, I love, you know what I'm saying? Feeling like I'm doing something, you feel me? Cause I, I, I'm a pretty busy, like I like to be active. So like this don't really bother me, you feel me? Cleaning up every day, it don't really bother me. But um, so I'm about to go ahead and clean it down. But y'all can see, man, that should be getting a shitty mess, shitty mess. But I do clean the dog's feet off every morning. Like, I take, I take like, some dish liquid and some water on the paper towel. And I just, you know what I'm saying, wipe their feet down. So I make sure, I do make sure that their feet are clean. You know what I'm saying? I make sure their feet are clean. But, um, so let me go ahead and get into this topic. Uh so a lot of people been writing in the comment section like man is those you know what i'm saying they they did those keepers come from the same litter you know what i'm saying uh, are they litter mates and do i plan on breeding them together and the answer is one yes they are litter mates two yes i do y'all y'all guess it it's like y'all know me or something like y'all guessed it uh right before me you know, now y'all guess it right before I announce it. Like, I do plan on breeding uh, my two keepers together, which is uh, these two pups right here. So, like, I know I'm probably gonna get like a lot of hate in the conversation for people that's against inbreeding. You feel me? But y'all just keep y'all comments to yourself. If you one of them types that hate inbreeding or don't like inbreeding? Just keep them to yourself, man. But, um, uh, <clears throat> so this, like, for people that's uh, looking to inbreed, you know what I'm saying, siblings. I've seen it done numerous amount of times. 
Um, I got a couple homeboys that have done brother to sister, little mate, brother to sister. All pups turned out healthy. All pups was fine. Nothing was wrong with the pups, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes it is a risk, you feel me? It's a hit and it's a miss, you feel me? Uh, it's a risk you take, man. But the only time I would really suggest like doing uh, like an inbreed is if you are satisfied with, you know what I'm saying, with what you produce, you feel me? So as far as uh, these two go right here, my whole litter, matter of fact, my whole litter was fire, you feel me? If y'all go back to um, a couple of my videos, y'all see my whole litter, like my whole litter was fire, you get what I'm saying? Uh, but overall, I'm satisfied, you know what I'm saying? I'm satisfied with the male that, that I got on my first litter. He's my male, oh shit, he's my first, he's my male. And I'm most and I'm I'm most definitely happy with the females that I got out of this litter. Y'all know two of my females died. One died after C-section. One died with me. She was the only one to survive. But overall, man, I'm I'm satisfied with my litter. I'm 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 satisfied with what I got. So um, as a breeder, once you sell, you're satisfied with the look that you have created, you want to double down on it. You know what I'm saying? You want to lock that look in because. My whole goal is I'm trying to create my own style. I'm trying to create my own look. You feel me? So, um, like, they both got certain features I like. You feel me? The female, like, she got that bully body, that that bully structure that I like. Like, I throw up a video of a, of an example. Like, she already giving me signs that this is the type of body style she gonna have. You feel me? Like that that short back but muscular. Cause if y'all really see her, man her muscles on her arms and stuff them shits is really starting to poke and pop you get what i'm saying so she give me she you know what i'm saying if i keep working with her she she's definitely gonna be like one of those muscular uh type bullies and then oh shit like he just bring the bone he bring the girth he got the eye separation his head he's he really does have a nice size head compared to her head you feel me oh yeah y'all they are officially uh they are ghost lilac tries man they tan markings are showing they are ghost lilacs uh tries because y'all know their mama was a ghost chocolate try and their daddy is a uh, lilac try but um uh, back to what i was saying man you you want to lock in once you are satisfied with that with that look with what you got and i'm satisfied so uh my plan is to you know what i'm saying you know shorten them up a little bit more more nano uh more stocky you get what i'm saying that's what happens when you do uh inbreeding you get the most stocky look. now don't just go out here inbreeding and putting litter mates together because you think you're gonna get that look like you have to overall be satisfied with what you produce if you're not satisfied with what you produce go back in the lab make it happen again and then do your inbreeding but you don't necessarily have to do uh litter mate uh, breeding you can do mom to son or son or or, or or daughter to son or daughter to daddy you get what i'm saying or half brother to half sister you get what i'm saying but once you're satisfied with what, what you got and for the experienced breeders that do the inbreeding and shit y'all know exactly what i mean you know what i'm saying when i say i'm trying to lock in you get what i'm saying I'm, i want to lock in this look you get what i'm saying y'all they understand you feel me but for the ones that don't understand man I go in depth in it on, on another video. You can go, you know what I'm saying, do your own research, you know what I'm saying, on what I mean by locking in. But if y'all look at this girl and you look at her brother, man, I, I feel like this is gonna be a dope, dope, dope breeder, man. So it's, it's, it's definitely something I wanna do. Um, like I said, man, inbreeding does come with, um, you know what I'm saying? But, and, 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 but I still got time, you feel me? like. I still got time to watch them grow and see if it's something that I really want to do. You know what I'm saying? Right now, that's my goal to do it. But, you know what I'm saying? They still got a little bit of time to grow to see uh, if this is something that I really want to do. But I'm, I'm head on strong with, with the brother to sister uh, 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 breeding that's going down. And then after I do the breeding with them, it's going to be a uh, heavy outcross. You feel me? So I'm going to be doing outcrosses heavy you feel me that means i'm gonna be taking them to someone right out the camp but still carry the same characteristic looks that i like you feel me so man i'm just breathing for me and breathing for my style and what i'm trying to create man so i'm locking in man i'm only been a year in this man uh so 
I still got more years to come, so we're going to see how it go. But that's it for this video, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notification bells on. We out.